Good morning. I'm in my backyard today looking at my wife's pepper plants, at her tomato plants, and I'm just enjoying the morning. This is 9 o'clock church, and I've decided to take it outside. Oh, so got uh, went to New York last week. I uh, just a little getaway, and uh, getting off the plane at LaGuardia, and the lady in front of me was quite nervous. And there was a little bit of turbulence, nothing bad. And she landed, and then she's like, oh my goodness, I'm so glad to be home. I'm so glad to be back. Oh, I'm so glad to be on the, on the ground again. And she's going out the door, and she's looking at the uh, captain and at uh, one of the um, attendants. And she goes, oh, I, I was so scared. I'm so glad. And she says, honey, why were you scared? Everything went so well. She says, I can't help it. I was just scared. I'm about three people behind her. I can hear the whole conversation. And as I get to the flight attendant, she turns to the captain and says, I don't understand why people get so scared up here. And being the kind of person I am, I kind of interject myself in this situation. And she says, well, you know, your plane is basically made of plastic and was constructed by the lowest bidder. So, you know, there's that. And they both had a little giggle out of it, and I left. Then came on the way back, and we hit a little more turbulence. And now I'm getting a little upset, a little scared. And the verse came for no reason. The verse came to me from the end of Matthew chapter 28, where Jesus says right at the end, he says, And lo, I am with you always. And I thought, you know, God has promised to be with me. Oh, wait a minute. He's promised to be with me when I'm low. And in a jet at that altitude, I'm not low. Well, that's just a little tongue-in-cheek. The fact is that God is always with us. If you go back to uh, Matthew chapter 28, get around verse 15, we're told that they went up to the mountain to worship Jesus, yet some of them still doubted him. Now, that's, that's nothing to skip over. You're all the way at the end of your ministry. You're about to find face your final days. And you hear the words, somebody here in this crowd is still in doubt. After everything you've seen, after everything that's done, after everything you've experienced. You know, there are times in our lives where we might doubt. We might doubt the word of God. We might doubt God himself. And then we start getting on this guilt trip. Oh, I can't believe I thought like that. Hey, some of those guys that were with him for three and a half years still had doubts all the way up into the end. So about 15, it says, about verse 15, it says, And they went up the mountain, and they went to worship him, yet some doubted. And then Jesus had these final departing words. He said, All things I've given you. Everything the Father's given me, I'm giving you. Now go, make disciples. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. Teach them to observe everything that I've taught you to observe. For lo, I am with you, even unto the end of this age. Amen. That is the promise. No matter what we're going through, God is always with us. I've got a good friend of mine that just uh, this morning put out there on Facebook, hey, I've just had knee surgery. Hope you all are praying for me. This is a good God of woman. But she's still asking for prayers because God will be with us when we pray for her or whether we not. But the fact is, God is with you. God is with me. God is taking care of us. And we have him to uh, to thank and to praise and to worship. And then it says, And lo, I am with you even unto the end of the world. And, of course, in my little brain, I'm thinking, He's with us unto the end of the world. I'm in this plane. Turbulence is getting bad. I have questions of whether or not we're going to make it. I just have to calm down and trust God. And then that end of the world phrase hits my head. And I'm thinking, you know, maybe there's a reason they call the place you land the terminal. I don't know. This has been 9 o'clock church. Hope to see you again next week.